Hello church, we're here in our contemporary worship space to talk about our return to in-person worship, which is just a weekend ago, and it was really exciting for me. My heart was warmed, I was very encouraged to see many of our folks returning to in-person worship. It was such a blessing to be able to receive the Lord's Supper with our people here in this place. But as we return to in-person worship, we also recognize that it's gonna be quite some time for many of our members to feel safe coming to in-person worship. And so I wanna assure you that we are gonna to continue to provide our home-based worship services via our YouTube channel every single week. We're gonna have two traditional services at eight Sunday morning each week, we'll have a traditional service, a full traditional service that matches right along with what we're doing in our in-person worship services. We're also gonna have a 6.30 evening service on Wednesdays to continue our sermon theme throughout the week. And as you can see, for those who come back to in-person worship, there are a lot of changes that have been made, a lot of adaptations. The church staff, the elders, the church governance board have all affirmed a set of, of protocols and procedures. So we make our worship spaces and our worshipers as safe as humanly possible. Our seats are socially distanced. Every volunteer, every staff person who serves in a worship service is signed off that they're going to be wearing a mask when they serve the public, that they're gonna wash and sanitize their hands regularly. They're gonna promote safe social distancing and refrain from touching uh, worshipers as they come to participate in worship. We're also gonna be sanitizing every single seating pod that is used every single worship service before the next worship service. And we have uh, tables that we're using for communion. Communion distribution is happening a little differently, um, but we're doing it differently so that we can distribute the Lord's Supper and receive the Lord's Supper in a way that is as safe as we can possibly make it. And I brought you here to this space because I also want you to see uh, what's going on here. Is this space is now being shared with our expanded food pantry ministry. For 15 years, we've been serving our community, but that pile of boxes of food over there represents uh, what we are trying to do as a church family in meeting both the physical and the spiritual needs of our people. And we think about the words of Jesus from Matthew chapter 4, verse 4 where he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. And we want to be there for you. We want to provide for your needs, your physical needs, your spiritual needs. This is why we've come back to worship. It's why we continue to worship online. We want to make it as easy as possible for people to participate in our worship services. So if you want to come to church, don't worry about RSVPs. It was an idea, a thought we had. We've done away with it. We don't want to have any barriers or any obstacles standing between you and worship. And so we hope and pray that you will be able to return when you feel safe. And when you do, we'll be glad to have you. Blessings on your day.